What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping back into the dawn of DC with Superman Action Comics issue 1058. We have Superman versus Clark Kent. What we've seen recently is the young Nora Stone, a new mysterious individual. She has drained Superman's powers and somehow given these powers to one of her henchmen, an imposter tyrant Superman of Metropolis. And with Clark powerless, he is facing this monster alone. And so, if Superman survives the day, secret identity intact, it will leave him wondering, who the heck is Nora Stone? Make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright guys, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up at the Daily Planet. The imposter Superman standing above Clark Kent, asking if he remembers, asking if he even knows why this is happening. And Clark, he, he really has no idea. He has no idea what the heck is going on, who these people are, or what the heck they want from him. But today, there is one thing he can be sure of. This imposter Superman wants him dead. And then he plans to obliterate an entire city block, wearing the face and sigil of Superman. As he begins to attack Clark, Clark knows that there are 302 people inside of this building. If this guy does another hit like he just did, the whole building will come down. But more than that, Clark's powers are at the lowest they have ever been. He is taking one heck of a beating. He can feel his body, his organs, his ligaments trying to hold his skeleton together. But he also knows that he can still win this. He may be vulnerable, but his perception and reaction time, they are still sharp. And so as this imposter Superman takes Clark all the way up to the sky, going on his little speech on how this is all going to end right here and right now, that is when Clark says that they are coming for you. And the imposter Superman doesn't understand. But Clark goes on to say that if you listen, if you can listen to the faraway sounds, the one in between all of the others, you will hear that they are coming. Coming. And when the imposter Superman goes to listen, what he hears is everything. It gets louder and louder, telling Clark to turn it off, asking how do you shut this off. He begins to freak out. He doesn't understand. And this gives Clark the opportunity, using one of the super core weapons, a weapon of Lex Luthor's. On any other day, Clark would be not happy about this weapon being used, about this weapon even existing. But today, today it has come in handy. Now this weapon doesn't do serious damage to Superman, but it does enough to distract him. Superman kept this weapon around because there are enemies like Zod and many others out there. This is a just in case situation. With the weapon being activated, they hit the imposter Superman. Now next to his super hearing, the most volatile, most difficult of his powers to control, it has always been heat vision. It took him years to be comfortable enough to use his heat vision in a fight. Without the greatest concentration, it is inefficient and unthinkably destructive. Taken too far, it can temporarily blind you. Using it to its fullest extent, he can burn through all of his energy storage in moments. And that is exactly what happens here. We see the imposter Superman, he falls from the sky, with Superman walking over and giving him a beatdown, taking this bracelet off of his wrist. Superman may not know what the heck is going on, but he vows that he is going to figure it out. As we pick up with Nora Stone talking to the news, she is going on to say that it appears Superman's ability to absorb solar radiation is no longer just Superman. That apparently, they have found a way to do it for every regular day citizens. And that Blue Earth is the new defenders of Earth. As we pick up at the Kent residence, the Super family returning home, we learn that Otha got in a fight, their first day at the Academy of Steelworks Institute. And while Lois is trying to give a lecture on why the kids are not allowed to fight, trying to explain to them because someone says something mean, doesn't mean that you throw hands. But as she is saying this, we have the arrival of Big Blue. 
looking a hot mess. Looking like he just got run through the ringer. While Lois and Clark begin to have an argument because Clark's timing is very bad considering the conversation she was just having. This is where Kara takes the kids into another room. She pulls out a book known as the House Fables of Krypton, and she goes on to explain that on Krypton, every house has its own sigil, its own banner, its own song, and a house fable. Stories that the elders would read to their children to teach them about the principles their house have lived by. The L's house fables are in here, Nightwing and Flamebird. But these two children are Philosian. This makes it a little more complicated. When a Kryptonian house had joined the Philosians, their names, sigils, stories, they were all struck from the record. But the book that she carries is from before all of that. And the children's house that they hail from, the House Raw, it is in here. And this is where we get a small glimpse of that story. In the time before time, there lived within Krypton two giants. One that could only build, and another that could only break. Though Krypton was ever the most beautiful and luscious of worlds. But in that time, it was also a world of war. As the continents of Krypton were made, remade, consumed, and made again. All living things, they lived in fear of destruction, of each other. In that time, there were two great tribes of Krypton, the Eivor and the Eldani. Each thought the other were evil. They had been at war for many lifetimes. As the giants within Krypton, they fought and raged. The homelands of both great tribes were cast into the sea. On the brink of extinction, the tribe's two greatest warriors made peace and set out on a quest to find a new home and save their people. They remember these heroes as Red Sun and Star Child. This is what picks us up with Nora Stone making her way into her little secret hideout. She comes upon what looks like a pool of water, a bright green water, and from that water, it gives her a hand. In that water, she talks to three distinct individuals. We don't know who they are, but Nora Stone is saying that she bled the first of them. She has enough power now to power a team of her own. They say that he is stronger here, but she also believes that she can turn one of the super family, believing that she can turn a Kryptonian to their side. And if they have a Kryptonian on their side, that is all they would ever need. With one Kryptonian on their side, they could burn this world to the ground. This is what takes us over to Steelworks. And we have John who is building a new suit for Superman. Knowing what they are facing against. People that can essentially siphon Superman's powers and use them against him. He knows he's not at 100% yet. That his power was drained. They know that they can put this power into other people. Superman isn't sure if other people have been given this power or not. All he knows is that his powers are not at 100%. This means he needs a something a little more powerful. Something to hold up just in case his powers get drained again. And so Nat and Steel, they work together to make something a little medieval. After Superman's time on War World, after learning about his new fighting skills and abilities, they crafted him an armor, a fully metal suit, and the Superman sword to go along with it. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Definitely not a bad story. Awesome that we are getting more details on the House of Raw. Of where these two children come from. The two that were rescued from War World and were essentially adopted by Lois and Clark. We are finally getting some understanding of really their heritage. Of their house, of their sigil, of where they come from. But what is still very much questioned is who is Nora Stone? Who are these people, these aliens, that have come here to try and take down the Kryptonians? Now they have the power to siphon Kryptonian powers and give them to anybody they want. What could be more dangerous than a situation like this? That you can drain one Kryptonian and create a team of Kryptonians. Obviously, they're not going to be as powerful as one individual having all the power. 
and obviously they have no idea how to use Kryptonian powers. Superman was able to trick this guy by simply saying to listen, the super hearing overpowering him, making it to where he just couldn't think. And so they may be giving these people Superman powers, but they have no idea how to use these powers in combat, specifically against Superman himself, who has taken decades and decades and decades to train and hone these skills to get it down to an exact science. They may have all this tremendous amount of power, but they have no real gun to shoot it out of. They have no understanding of how to operate it. Obviously, we'll definitely see some individuals that have a better understanding than others, but I am very interested in learning where this all came from, how this all started, and where these aliens are hailing from. More than that, I wonder which Kryptonian they're thinking that they can bring over. Which Kryptonian do they think will side with these aliens? Let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series. Go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything that is going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to getting free comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.